Please stand. This morning's Mass is being offered for uh, Lorraine Lisiak, Marion Steve uh, Canadian, and Dolores Ke uh, Keating. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And please join me in Transant Yvonne. Do not let me to will of my false, O Lord, for false witness rise against me and they pray for Christ. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us to celebrate the mysteries of Lord's Passion, that we may merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I had thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me in his, as a servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. Oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will we'll sing, sing of, of your, your salvation. salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth, I knew I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. 
O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing, sing of, of your, your salvation. salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. In the Last Supper, Jesus put at the test his apostles to make a final sacrifice of his own life in his own words. And today in the Gospel we see Jesus and two apostles, one opposite another. The question is, what is different between Peter and Judas? Of course, we see the story about betray position of Peter, Judas, and Peter who is very emotional. Peter act impulsively and our weakness and cowardness, 
However, Judas make wars, makes his appeal by showing special affection to him in the Last Supper. Satan can twist love turn into hate. He can turn holiness into pride, discipline into cruelty, affection into complacency. We see what Satan make in the hearts of Judas. We know Peter's loyalty and the weakness of his uh, resolution. We know his habit, but we know that he laid cry and said, I'm sorry what I'm doing. The Holy Spirit give us grace and strength of time of testing. If we submit to Jesus, we will walk, we will walk in the light of his truth and love. If we turn our back on him, we will stumble and fall in the ways of sin and darkness. Are you ready to follow Jesus in his way of the cross? Let us bring to the Lord our humble prayers and petitions. For Pope Francis, the Vicar of Christ on Earth, may God continue to bless him and sanctify him in his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For national leaders, may the Lord show them the path to promoting the common good for all per- persons. Let us pray to the Lord. For all with chronic illnesses, may they be up, upheld and strengthened and through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the people of this faith community, may God's pr- providential love for us encourage and sustain us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have died, may God grant them his peace in his glorious kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. And for Lorraine Lusiak and Mary and Steve Cassandi and Dolores Keating, who are being remembered especially at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we bring to you our prayers, entrusting them to your holy will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on those offerings of your family and those you make partakers of the secret gifts grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, God of hosts, host. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the foe, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. I love you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, I love you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Place our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as a way, the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my beast, Peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the witness of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of the truth, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Of Christ.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us to the present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before final blessing, I would like to share with you prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas. Give me, O Lord, steadfast heart which no unworthy thought can drag down words, and unconquer hearts which no tribulation can wear out, and a right heart which no worthy purpose may Temp aside. Bestow upon me also, O Lord my God, understanding to know you, diligence to seek you, wisdom to find you, and faithfulness that may finally embrace you through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.